So we are certainly feeling the cold right now. And we thought this, what not a better time to explore cold weather science? So of course we had to invite the kitchen pantry scientist, Liz Heineke, who is here now. What are we doing today, Liz? Okay, I'm gonna show you a quick project for younger kids. We are gonna learn how to make ice cream, like just outside your back door. Still okay, there. totally. Well, yeah. And then we are gonna make snow globe, ice globe volcanoes. Oh, we got okay. a lot to get to. Okay, Start so this here. is quick. So if kids compare, they just take an ice cube tray, have them pour water, soda, juice, uh, dish soap, and then have start a timer and have them poke it every like five minutes with a toothpick. Yeah. And yeah. you can compare how fast each liquid freezes. Mm. They can make a hypothesis, like what do you think is gonna freeze first? Okay. Does, does dish soap freeze? Um, eventually it will. That doesn't freeze very easily. If it's cold oh, wow. enough now, probably to yeah. freeze. Well, just okay. so you should do the experiment and find out. Huh? Gotcha. Water I thought, is the first. Yeah. Water yeah. is the first. Yeah. Yes, this is called, <laughs> yeah. so if you add sugar to water, like in soda, it's yeah. called freezing point depression. Mm. Ice is just water molecules that snap together into a lattice, a crystal lattice. Uh -huh. And if you add things like sugar, it interferes with that lattice formation. Right. So it, it's like salt on the road. Exactly. Gotcha. So okay. it takes a, yeah, okay. okay. What so do we how does it work for the ice cream then? Okay, it's so cold outside that you can go online, find a, an ice cream recipe. I did like a custard based one. Put it in a casserole dish, take it out, set it outside. This is in my edible edition book, but basically it's cold enough. You stir it every 15 minutes to keep the crystals small as they're forming. Mm -hmm. But I have spoons if you want to try it. Um, you can make delicious ice cream just outside your back door. Like, I don't you know why no one has it. Right? <laughs> okay, it's pretty good. I was oh, just oh. I was just telling you guys oh, I had no. to go back to my daughter's basketball game last night, so mm -hmm. I didn't stir it every 15 minutes. Heather, but um, like it's your delicious. Kids like this. Yeah. It's homemade Definitely. ice cream, right? Yeah, it's yeah. great. And it's so easy. You don't need a the That's mixer so good. makes the you know smooth, oh, really good. perfect That's ice cream. Very but good. Yeah. Okay, I love this. When it's cold like this, kids can fill up balloons with water. They can add things like, look at this, this is cool. I added some cookie sprinkles. <laughs> they can add different things to test how they dissolve. Put it outside. That's cool. If you let it freeze long enough, they will freeze solid. So I put cranberries in this one, I think. Oh, that's oh, pretty. Wow. But they're pretty. I mean, you could put that in a punch bowl. That's kind of an Instagram mm -hmm. thing, right? Yeah. If you don't let it freeze as long, and this is like lakes freezing in Minnesota. Yes. The air, the surface closest to the air will freeze first. So the whole thing will get to freezing really cold, and then the surface freezes first. The same thing happens if you freeze water in a balloon. So the outside freezes mm. first. Uh -huh. You're left with these um, globes, so you can like, there's usually a bubble on top mm. where it's yeah. weak. Mm. You just dump out the water okay. and you can cool. make luminaries, but strange. you can also make ice globe volcanoes. Oh. Oh. So this is, this is from my yeah. cheap pan science book. So that. you all are gonna help me with this. I just mixed together a fourth cup baking soda, mm -hmm. two tablespoons of water, some food coloring in, food coloring, and I'm pouring it into my ice globes, right? Right. This is the classic volcano reaction. That one's leaking, so it's not going to work. But everyone, grab a cup of vinegar. Okay. okay. We Joseph wanted as soon as he Joseph, heard you ice, get ice globe uh, volcanoes. He I was, was like, in. okay. Yeah. On the count of three, one, two, three. We're going to pour the vinegar in. Oh, there it goes! Ah! There it goes! <laughs> what happens is the vinegar and baking soda react. They form carbon dioxide bubbles. Isn't that cool? Yes. So kids can take a video of yeah. this and show their friends this Super volcano cool. reaction. But aren't they pretty too? That's so pretty. And yeah. sheet pan, all Coming easy to clean handy. up. Winter science. <laughs> Cold Winter science, science and clean. <laughs> it's oh, clean gosh. better. Yeah, I use a baking were, sheet so it doesn't yeah, go all over. I wish everywhere. you were on last week after this very long. <laughs> I, I know, long break, break, right? break, yes. Long break. <laughs> thank you, thank you. You can see more of Liz's experiments. Kitchen Pantry Scientist.com.